It's the sheep that's bringing attention to this little boy with the nice ex. Just think about it. It's the sheep. It's the sheep that's bringing attention to this nonsense about Lil Nas X. We, uh, us quote she, Hebrew for uh, holy ones, have been constantly warning folk out there about the satanic nonsense that's going on in this world. Whether it's by music, uh, movies, you know what I'm saying? It, it, look, <laughs> this is not a surprise. Whether it's being boldly brought out there or whatever. You know what I'm saying? See, the sheeple are the ones that's giving attention to the satanic nonsense. You know, let me tell you. See, what's going on is the sheeple, they, they, they are part of the satanic nonsense that's going on in this world too some of them don't know it some of them know it but not willing to be brought about it not willing to be boldly seen about their satanic rituals their disobedience of Yahweh see 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 the sheep will like to stay in the blind and also like to masquerade the satanic behavior in this world See, they like to have it both ways. They want one foot in and one foot out, serving Yahweh and serving Satan. But that's not going to work regardless. But my thing is, see, 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 with Lil Nas X, <clears throat> he's not the only one. But right now, as 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 noticeable right now, Lil Nas X don't care. And uh, uh yeah, you know, I don't have uh, Instagram and nothing like that. But some people show some clips of him. Being on Instagram, letting people know what he rap about, what he talk about, and it and it is what it is. Lean, sex, and all that. And yeah, it's up to those that listen to it. It's up to them. It's up to their kids. I mean, it's up to them to allow their kids to listen to this nonsense. So the negativity response that he is receiving now is this nonsense. You know, he's boldly, willingly to be muppeted by Satan. By Satan's people in the music industry or whatever, Hollywood or whatever you want to call it. He is willingly, willingly to be disobedient. So that's his choice. But the thing is, why are people surprised about his choice? You got fake pastors out there even talking about it in their church. Why are you bringing this attention? Why are you giving this nonsense attention, even in the church? We see what's going on. No, what you need to speak about is the attention that this little boy is receiving. See, if you ignore Satan and his nonsense, he won't get this attention. Oh, the shoes. Oh, okay, the shoes are supposed to have... Human blood and all this nonsense in it. Okay, whatever. It's written all over the shoe. Everything is satanic about this whole thing with Lil Nas X. And everybody see that. Everybody know that. But why are you giving it attention? I'm not even talking about him. I'm talking about the sheep. Hallelujah. The quota sheets out there, the set apart ones. The set of part ones out there, the true believers of Christ, has been warning folk out there about the shenanigans that's going on in this world. So, so it's not a shock to the set of part ones, the holy ones, the quota sheet. It's not a shock to us. <laughs> We're trying to wake up those that, that feel they need to be shocked with this foolery. See, 
He's bold about it. So what? And others that's not bold about it, that don't make it okay. That don't make it okay. And, and, and for the sheep that's willingly to stay asleep and not awoke about the nonsense, that's not okay either. Just because you hiding it or you sneaking about it, you're masquerading about it, that's not okay either. See, that's the reason why Satan chooses those who don't care and they're willing to be boiling because he's giving a pass all the time. If I can mask away and I can get away with doing this, then I don't care. I can get away with it by fast. Somebody that that that, that, that serve me boldly. And that's what's going on. He ain't even forced to serve Satan boldly. He, hey, get sign a deal or whatever and do your thing, okay? And everybody who who's so sleeping, everybody who's willing to stay quiet about the nonsense, <gasps> he, oh, uh, he this, he that, he having sex with the devil on the video and kissing and cutting up and he can't on basically. And and, and and the shoes got blood all in it. Got the the the. The uh, devil's horn on the on the, the the star on the shoe and got the upside down cross and speaking about Luke 10, 18. And I keep trying to tell people, okay, yeah. Then read the next verse. <laughs> See, that's 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 your problem. And I bet you for some of these these uh sheeples out here, these sheeple rather, I bet they still ain't looked up that verse. I bet you they still didn't even read Luke 10, 18. And I tell forgot to read Luke 10, 19 while you're at it. <laughs> read Luke 10, 19 and 20 while you're at it. <laughs> That's for the quota sheet. But, okay, he's doing what he's doing by choice. So what? See, what we need to do is not give... Uh, attention to him. The news talking about the shoes and, and all they doing is promoting. That's all they doing. This dude has been whack since he came out. When he first came out with this cowboy nonsense I knew something was wrong with him then. When he was getting all this publicity and blowing up and all that because of some cow black cowboy what? It was whack anyway. I knew I knew right then and there he had already sold his soul. See, this is what I'm saying. So it's not a shock for me personally to see this cat the way he is right now. It's not a shock. He's just moving up levels for Satan. And then the world see where he's at. And the rest of these artists, is, be honest with you, wish they can do the same thing. <laughs> they wish they can do the same thing. Because now he, he up there now. For the world. Yeah. He, he, he shot up there and the sheep will make him even more higher. Talking about it. But see, this video is basically about those that's masquerading themselves. The 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 wanna be fake pastors that's in these churches that's bringing this subject into their church homes. They got the video on their screens and stuff in their church homes speaking about Lil Nas X and his demonic nonsense. See, we see what's going on with this little boy, but. I mean, we we see that. We know that's a problem with him, but that's with him and Satan and God going to handle that. Elohim ain't going to handle that. But what are you discussing in your churches? What are you discussing at home with your families? If you're supposed to be saved and all that, what are you discussing about Lanas? Is you gossiping about him? Or are you speaking of the boldness that this world has allowed this stuff to become at, at the attention that it has been as it has become. See what I'm saying? See, when you give Satan attention, it takes attention off the truth of Yahweh. 
the feasts. I, I still got to get off it to learn how to go about the feasts. But that's in God's timing. Okay, Easter and all that. I don't celebrate Easter. No true quota she used to celebrate Easter. But the thing about it, okay, this is the timing of us supposed to be learning how to go back, you know, celebrating Yahweh and and, 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 and appreciate Yeshua HaMashiach for dying for our sins and, and going back how to celebrate the unleavened bread and, and the blood over us and stuff like that. And, and you know... And then this thing, you know, pew, say to come right in and take the spotlight off of the real deal of serving God. He stole the attention because folk out there has allowed that. They took their whole man off of the purpose of serving Yahweh. They took their whole mass off of realizing the purpose of why Yeshua died for our sins. Die for us. The passion of Yeshua. And they come out with this stupid, creepy video, and then everybody just, pew, pew, oh man, forget about that. But anyway, yeah, did you hear about Lil Nas? Hey, you seen the gym shoes? Gym shoes a thousand dollars, and yada, yada, they sold out, and, and woo, out the bell. Yeah, they took their whole little checks, they little, uh, uh, <laughs> they government checks and bought the shoes and it's real blood and you see the the, the goat horns on there and, and I mean just going at it. Okay, yeah, look at it and see. Okay, oh, then you see what's going on. Okay, now get back to the real deal. <laughs> get back to serving Yahweh. Let's get back to serving Yahweh. We already know that this little boy that sold his soul, and if he don't repent, he going to Guyana. We already know that. But what about you? What about you? Sheeple, wake up. This been going on since day one with Satan. This been going on for a long time. And it's going to continue. It's going to continue on. It's going to continue on down the line until until uh, 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 the son come back, until our brother come back. And you better be ready. You better be the bride. Getting ready to unite with the son. He's coming back. And this nonsense is going to get even more broader. It's going to get even more Enlightened. It's not a game. Satan is thirsty. And see, this is another sign that Yahshua is on his way back. And Satan, see, Satan, he he don't know exactly when 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 Yeshua coming back, but he know his time is running out. He know his time is running out. So he's going to get even more bold. Look, I ain't going. I ain't going there by myself. I ain't going to get hunted by myself. I'm taking some folk with me, and that's what he's doing. He's going to take some folk with him. So when you see stuff like that with with Nas, Lil Nas X, with these videos and being, that's going to get worse. I'm warning y'all. I'm warning y'all. Here I go again. I'm warning y'all. It's going to get even worse. Up. With videos, movies, commercials. The commercials is even getting the money. It's going to get worse. I'm letting y'all know that right now. So when you see these things, yeah, to be aware is to be alive. Look at it. And, oh, man. You know, go pray about it. And then, boom, don't give it no more attention than what it all, than what you already gave it. <laughs> I seen the video one time. I observed it one time and boom, that was it. I'm not finna go keep looking at it. Look, keep looking at it for what? I seen it one time. That was it. I don't need to keep uh, dissecting it and all that. I don't need to look. Should have looked at it the first time. Hallelujah. But to speak on it, I can say that I did observe it that one time and that was it. You see these things, you observe it, get your opinion about it, pray about it, and leave it alone. Don't keep talking about it. Don't keep showing it. Don't keep focusing on about it. We, we see that it's demonic, right? Okay, then, why are you study talking about it in your homes? Why are you study showing it in your homes? 
Why you study talking about it in the church? Why you study showing it in the church? In the church? Why you gossiping about it? Why you shun? Well, you should shun evil, but before you do that, shun yourselves. If you're being disobedient yourself, you're going to go right along with Lil Nas X to Gehana. See what I'm saying? He just being bold with his sin. The person that's standing next to Lil Nas X that's being quiet with his sin, that don't mean that he's not going to go to Gehana. He's going to be right with Lil Nas in Gehana. And neither one of y'all going to wake up and, and be faced it down with the kingdom. With Yeshua. The quota she's. Moses and them. Celebrating. Giving praises to Yahweh. Elohim. You're going to be right there. With Le Nas X. In Gehenna. And Satan. The Antichrist. You're going to be right along with them. So before you judge Lil Nas X with his nonsense and shenanigans, you better get your own self together and get ready and preparate yourself for the coming of Yeshua HaMashiach. Have mercy.